Um, I have an e-collar here, uh, the Lucky Duck uh, Revolt, I believe this one is. Anyway, I uh, love the call. I've had several electronic calls. Um, had a Fox Pro, one of their more expensive ones. It was all right. Uh, I had something, I think it was a Primos. I'm not entirely sure. I uh, didn't like that flimsy piece of crap at all. I had one of those little convergent technologies bullet calls. It's just a Bluetooth speaker. I mean, I uh, don't like that at all. I don't like trying to use my phone in the field at night because uh, it lights up my face. Uh, and then <clears throat> as far as Bluetooth speaker goes, this is a JBL Flip 4. Um, I've had great luck with this. You can see I've even got a carabiner. I can hook that on my belt loop if I suddenly decide that I want to call something with a speaker that's very, very close to me because of the Bluetooth range. I can just use this, and I've actually called in a coyote and killed it using this speaker um, Bluetooth to my phone using the Convergent Technologies app. So anyway, I like this call. Call works great. The thing that I don't like about it, the only things that I don't like about it uh, have to do with the batteries in it. It comes with a brick like this. Uh, this is actually the brick that came out of it. It uses 10 AA batteries. Uh, the remote is supposed to indicate to me what the charge level of these batteries is, but it's not very accurate. I used it, uh, let's see, today is Wednesday. I used it Sunday before last. Um, went out and I called at a certain volume level and I thought, wow, that sounds quiet. The next night I went out and I changed the batteries before I went out and I turned it down two digits down from where it had been the night before and it was still a hell of a lot louder. Uh, it does make a difference how well charged the batteries are and it won't indicate to you that it's, the batteries are low. So it's kind of frustrating. This also is a very, very tight fit into the battery bay on the bottom of the unit here. It fits, but then we have to put these connections and tuck them into this small gap um, up here, which is, well, small. It's kind of a tight fit. I don't like it. And I don't like having to change the batteries out and especially, you know, AA batteries 10 at a time. Um, it's frustrating. It's not something you just go out and, you know, use them one night or two nights and then throw them in the trash. You want to kind of try to get the life uh, out of these that they ought to be able to provide. But without an ad accurate indicator, um, you're, you're left with either pulling it out and checking with a multimeter um, or just replacing them periodically or just getting out there and finding out that, oh, crap, it's not playing as loudly as it did before and that's not beneficial so i really want to go to rechargeable batteries and while this is about a 400 hundred dollar game call uh, i am way too cheap to pay a hundred stinking dollars for the lucky duck rechargeable battery i noticed though um because I've, I've been hacking batteries since i was like literally eight nine years old like figuring out ways like oh if i use wooden dowel rods and a and a pigtail that goes to cigarette adapter i can use this boom box in the car that you know takes eight uh, D cell batteries. Well, eight times one point five is twelve. Wait a minute, I can run that on twelve volts. Oh, and I cut a dowel rod down and I put screws in the end, ran wires to it, and replaced uh, D cell batteries with wooden dowel rods and a couple of electrical connections on the end, and it works. Anyway, so I've been hacking batteries, and I say hacking, it's not like it's a really terribly creative thing. But in any case, I was going to do something, so I wanted to first find out what the the factory batteries were. So I went and looked at what they were, and I noticed that they were 11.1 .1 volts. Well, you can do math. 1.5 volts nominal times 10 is 15 volts, and I've checked that with a, with, a, with a multimeter. It is. It's about 15 volts that comes out of this thing. And I'm like, why is there a rechargeable battery 11.1 .1 volts? That's just bizarre. So I already had uh, an, a UV flashlight that used the 1865 rechargeable batteries. So I thought, hmm. I wonder if I could use something like that. And I came out and I put one into the, the battery bay here and there's plenty of room. I, yeah, gobs of room. So uh, I thought, okay, I'll bet that'll work. So the first thing I needed was a cradle. Amazon to the rescue. I got two of these. They cost me about $7 for the pair. Uh, so I have a spare now. They have really, really uh, fine angel hair wires on them, unfortunately, but this is not a, hopefully not a terribly high current application. So it should be just fine. Uh, one reviewer of these said that the batteries didn't fit very well. I have no complaints. They fit flawlessly in here. Then the other thing that I needed, of course, was I needed a way to plug it into the factory connection on the collar. I didn't want to clip this off and replace it or hardwire it. I wanted to be able to simply undo it, 
just in case. What if I decide this doesn't work well? What if I'm unhappy with this for some reason? What if I want to carry this as an emergency backup? Like, oh crap, I forgot to charge the batteries. At least I've got this. I usually have piles of AA batteries around from running game cameras. So I'd like to, I'd like to just be able to go back. I didn't want to cut the fire, factory wiring harness, but how do you identify that? Uh, how do I find a connection that is that? I don't know what that is. That could be proprietary to them. I have no idea. Well, I looked around on Amazon and by the grace of God, two years ago, I found some, bought them, didn't get around to the project, lost them. I don't know where they are. I bought some more. And now I'm going to be able to tell you that from Amazon, hopefully that will show up clearly enough. And I'm going to tell you what it is right here. It specifies that it is a JSTSM. So I'm guessing that the uh, with a space in there, the JST is the style of connector. I don't think it's the manufacturer. This is just, there were a bunch of them on Amazon like this, different quantities. This was a 10 pair pack. Uh, I think JST is probably the specification. SM is probably a further designation that it's S, SM small and it is a two pin connection. They also have these uh, in three pin configurations. We don't need that. We just need a two pin configuration. So again, JST uh, as, uh, SM two pin and praise the Lord. It plugs in flawlessly. Yes. Anyway. So, um, now I just needed some 18650 batteries. I already have two that came with a rechargeable flashlight, but I need three. So I found a flashlight again on Amazon. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. I found this on Amazon. Um, it actually, uh, is a pretty neat little flashlight, whatever. Um, basically it's a freebie because for like $21 ish, I got six 18650 batteries and eh, yeah, uh, charging cradle for two cells at a time and flashlight. Don't need the flashlight. So I got a free flashlight and six batteries. So now I've got, since I only use three at a time, I can actually put uh, three on the charger, charging cradle, uh, plus the other charging cradle that I already had. Again, these are 18650 batteries, not to be confused with 16650s, which are a smaller diameter. I don't know about the length. Um, 18 uh, means that they're a nominal diameter of 18 millimeters. 16, nominal diameter of 16 millimeters. 650, I think it means it has a 650 cc inline four cylinder engine in each one of the, I, hell, I don't know what 650 is. Don't care. Uh, 5,000 milliamp hour batteries. 3.7 volts, and guess what? When you take 3.7 and multiply it times four, you come up with 11, uh, sorry, multiply it times three, 3.7 times three, my mistake, you come up with 11.1 volts, huh? Just like the factory battery pack. There you are. So I, because these are such fine wires and I didn't need them to be any longer than to reach over the top of them, I clipped uh, a fair amount of that wire off, uh, both of them, of course, clipped that off and then I soldered on the connection. I cut some length off of the connection, connecting wire too. I didn't want to have to be stuffing a whole bunch of wire uh, inside the box. And then I put some shrink wrap on um, over the solder joints. So it's fairly neat and tidy. And as you can see, it's, it's perfect, absolutely perfect. Uh, quick, easy connection. So if I do decide I want to go back to the other one, or if I just wanted to, I don't know, I could rig up the other cradle and I could, I don't know why I'd ever want to, but if I want to ever go back to the original way things were done, I can, I can do so. So there you are. Uh, three 18650s, three times 3.7, 11.1. It's the same thing as what their battery pack offers. And instead of $99 and 99 cents, um, I could find it. The cheapest I found, it, I think was like $90. Um, I got, uh, Da, da, da. I got 10 pairs, male and female, of the connecting wires. So I've got plenty of spares of those. I got two of the three uh, cell cradles and I got a flashlight that's actually pretty decent. I mean, that, I'm happy with the light that it produces. I mean, for going out and just generally finding your way in the dark in the yard and not falling over something, it's fine and I don't need it. So that's kind of a freebie. Like I said, six cells and a charging cradle for two at a time. Uh, and I was out about $35, I think, after tax, something like that. And I got to feel like I did something pretty awesome. Uh, this has a power uh, indicator on the side of it. It's a bright red LED and at nighttime it is very bright. So you'll see I've got a piece of electrical tape over it, just a little Southern engineering. Um, I don't know if uh, 
an animal would see that and be afraid of it, but I always tape over it. So there it is. And anyway, that's it. So there, there is uh, how you can uh, rig up a rechargeable battery pack very easily uh, for this e-collar. Presumably it would work for in, you know, some of the others. Uh, this is just, this has been my favorite. I've, I've done well with this. I actually called in a couple of coyotes last night and was a, and, and had a clean shot on one and I killed that. Uh, I just, I like the collar. This, this has been my favorite thing. My only complaint with it has been, um, the batteries. Uh, some people have complained about, and I, and I did originally about the brightness of the remote control, which I didn't carry into my little cluttered up project space. I'm making candles anyway. Uh, the, the screen is ridiculously bright. Their night mode is a joke. It's still just retina searingly bright. Just take a piece of window tint. Uh, you know, if you've got a window tint shop nearby, go to Walmart. They used to occasionally carry window tint. Find some window tint. Throw some window tint on the remote. Run it at night mode with window tint over it. Works freaking fantastically. I've been very happy with this. Anyway, I hope that helps. Um, I didn't see, uh, I wasn't able to find a video immediately of someone else doing this. Maybe somebody else has done it. Uh, like I said, I got most of the stuff up Amazon. I don't do any um, uh, affiliate links or anything like that. I'm not promoting products and trying to make money off of it. So hopefully I've shown you enough here and just your Amazon searching will get you what you need and you can do this too if you have one of these. Hope that helps.